Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the design of the lateral ties for the column. So in this lecture we are going to design our column lateral or the we can say transverse reinforcement for the column. So this is the column. Uh, this is the column shown in the figure and this is the cross section a, a detail of this column we can see here there's a, a section and these are the two dimension of this column one is 15 inches and the other one is 12 inches and uh, there are four bars are used and is the main and longitudinal bars you can see four and these are number eight bars right in American system we use the numbers uh, to represent the bar so four number eight bars are used here you can see here also so this is the detail given to us and we are interested to find the literal ties for the column like the literal ties that how much spacing should be provided uh, for uh, between the each uh, literal ties throughout the depth of the column so we want to find this distance for the literal ties it means this is the design of the literal ties that how that how much spacing should be provided between these each uh, lateral ties. So a, according to the American Concrete Institute 318-14 code, this is for the design of the lateral ties, it states that there are three formulas used for the uh, lateral ties and you should choose the minimum to design the lateral ties. For example, I will explain this in detail now. The first formula is 16 into diameter of the longitudinal bar. The 16 and the db is the diameter of the longitudinal bars which is you can see these are the longitudinal bars our main bars which are going throughout the length of the beam sorry throughout the depth of the column these are the longitudinal our main bars the second formula is 48 into diameter of the stirred tie bar this is known as the diameter of the tie bar that which diameter of tie you are using here in this column which tie uh, you are using in this column so you should uh, put the diameter of here of uh, the tie bar here and multiply with the 48 you will get the value the third one is the smallest column dimension smallest column dimension so you can see here there are two column dimension one is 15 inches one is 12 inches these are the section view here it can be seen 12 inches and 15 inches these are the two uh, column dimension so you should choose the minimum column dimension so now I'm putting the value and finding uh, these all three so the first one is 16 into diameter of the longitudinal bars so here I can multiply the diameter of the longitudinal bar the diameter of the longitudinal bar is number 8 bar you can see here number 8 bar and the diameter of number 8 bar is 1 inches it is known to us the diameter of the number 8 bar is 1 inches it is known to us you can also watch my video on how to find the diameter in, a, in area of each bar on my youtube channel so putting this one diameter of the longitudinal bar is 1 inches so here 1 so it comes out to be 16 inches now consider the second case which stated the 48 into diameter of this tie bar 48 into diameter of the tie bar let's suppose that we are using the ties this is the ties and we are assuming that we are interested to use the number 3 bar as the tie bar and the number 3 tie bar diameter should be known to us which is 0.375 inches so 0.375 I will multiply here so I will get so I will get my answer which is 16 inches here right 16 inches sorry it comes out to be 18 inches 18 inches here so now and the third one is the smallest column dimension now the smallest column dimension we can see here is 12 inches so I will directly write here the 12 inches so these are the three values which are known to us now now to find now to know about the which spacing we should provide for the literal ties in our column design so we should take the minimum of these this is minimum or this is minimum or this is minimum so we know that the 12 inches is minimum then the uh, 16 inches and 18 inches so we will uh, take our spacing between the stirrups is 12 inches so our design spacing now is 12 inches so this is the rule how to design the lateral ties for the column 
Now the distance between the two little ties will be the 12 inches according to this formula, which states that the least of these value should be taken as your design spacing between the little ties. Hope you understand. Subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.